Hi, it's Alicia. So I want to talk about the Module 1 portfolio. The Module 1 portfolio is really meant for students that are chemistry, biology, physics, lab TAs or GAs. Um, you're not going to be instructor of record. In other words, students are not going to be able to go to TopNet or schedule of classes and find your name listed. Uh, but you are still leading a class. So you do a different portfolio than others that will be leading a class and will be listed in TopNet. For those chemistry, biology, uh, lab GAs, also some math, sometimes math recitation students uh, do module one portfolio. This is what you'll do. So I am in our GADI course site in my student preview. I click Module 1 Portfolio Information and it opens up these three pieces of information. I'm going to click on Module 1 Portfolio Overview and this gives you an overview of the Module 1 Portfolio. Oops, looks like I need to change the date on that. So I'll change that date. Uh, it's due Sunday, June 11th. Okay, click on the top right hand side for Module 1 Portfolio Assignment Details. Again, it's due Sunday, June 27th. Here's everything, all of the six things that you need to submit in one document for the portfolio. Here's a, at the bottom of the screen, you can uh, download a printed version in case you like to kind of check things off as you go. The great thing about the Module 1 portfolio is that one through five are things you do during GADI. So there's no rework there. Well, there's a sometimes a little bit of rework, but there's no extra work to do except for number six. In lesson one, you tell me what uh, the name of the course and the name of the, the topic is that you're going to cover. You're going to focus on during Gaddy. So for example, COM 145 is the course. The topic is interpersonal communication. So there you go. Once you do that in lesson one, that's part of the portfolio, so start putting that in a Word document. In lesson three, it's a list of your course objectives. All right, also a list of lesson objectives. So what are the lesson objectives for interpersonal communication? Kind of using my example. That's what you'll do in lesson three. During lesson three, when you create those lesson level objectives, you're gonna receive feedback from your classmates and from me. Use that feedback to improve your lesson objectives if you need to. Once you've made those improvements, if you need to, add that information to your portfolio document. In lesson four, you're going to do, you're actually going to do three micro learning activities, uh, but I only need you to submit one for the portfolio. Again, you'll be sharing those micro activities with your classmates and with me. We'll all offer thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, feedback, or tell you, man, this is great. You did a really good job with this. Do this. Uh, so that's what you do. Okay. You're also going to submit with that uh, a one or two paragraph discussing how the microactivity relates to your student objectives. Okay? So be sure to include that. That reflection piece is very important. Reflecting on your learning is an important skill to do. It's hard to learn, but it's very, very good. Uh, to do. So then you're just going to continue with lesson five. You're going to do a closed ended assessment. You're going to make any changes that you might need to make based on feedback. Include that in your portfolio. In lesson six, it's going to be an open ended assessment and rubric. You'll make any changes you might need to do to those, and that's number five in your portfolio. And then the last piece of your portfolio is a short reflection, one to two pages, that talk about the following things, the A, B, and C. What are the two most impactful pieces of information you learned during GADI? Um, what is something you wish you had learned? Maybe you thought you would learn it or you didn't, or maybe there was something in the discussion that sparked an interest and we still didn't cover it. So what is that? Also, uh, what can we do to improve all of the lessons? So, you know, give me some feedback. I love student feedback. That's how I uh, improve my courses all the time because this course is for you. It's not for me. And so I want this course to kind of to meet your needs. So let me know that. 
When you have all of that in one document, whether it's a Word document or a PDF, come up to the top right hand corner, click Lesson 1 Final Portfolio Assignment. That opens up that little panel. Click View Assessment at the bottom. And then you simply add content and submit your document. You can click on the paper clip, locate the document, highlight it, click upload, and there you go. So that's what you do for the Module 1 portfolio. Please let me know if you have any questions related to the portfolio or to any of the other information or assignments in the course. I want you to get as much out of this course as you can and as you want to. Thanks!